I just came off um, our monthly gathering Zoom call just now. And uh, it's always so beautiful. There's some something so lovely when people get together with uh, kind of the same vision, the same goal, and that is to uh, start living from a new paradigm inside, living more from love, from trust, from peace. And um, I, I just want to share because it, it, it seems to be something that most of us have a hard time with um, to move from the protecting layers, the protective layers that we hold around our hearts. And those are the ones that basically get in the way for the longing that we feel in our hearts to come out and express itself and manifest and become our reality. So when I take people through meditation, you know, to really get in touch with their heart and, uh, and allow space for it and letting it grow, very beautiful. What many people come back to share after that meditation is that they run into fear of feeling it or disappointment and certainly also sadness. And it is really, really important to, to get a good understanding why we need to help soften those, those barriers, those protective layers, so that what we truly long for in here can come out. Because as long as we are afraid or we have sadness, there's a resisting of it. There's something that's holding it back, it's holding the love of the longing back. So learning to meet those barriers, as Rumi calls them, those are the ones that are blocking us from expressing and experiencing what lives in our heart. So what I see sometimes is people, then they go into their mind and say, oh, you know, I should just uh, start trusting more or I just need to suck it up and do it anyway or things like that. What that is, that is really bypassing the heart, the energy and the frequency of what wants to express itself through the longing and going up here and then thinking it can be done with the mind. And I'm sorry to say this, but it can't. It can probably get you to a certain stage or a certain level, but it cannot get you to fully be that longing, that frequency of the love and the longing that you want that cannot be done up here. It can only be done by meeting the layers that are blocking it with a loving, kind attitude so that they start melting. And when they start melting, that could be that there are tears. Very likely that happens to most of us because we long for this so much, the love, and we're so afraid to be hurt again that we just hold it down. And then when this starts softening, this is there's tears here, there's fear here. And that just needs to melt in whatever way it melts. And right then, there's always more softening. There's always more relaxation. There's more joy. There's more openness and willingness. And then that vibration is start, it can start come out. And then we can start experiencing what it is that we want. So it's the learning to meet the barriers, the protective layers. That's really where it's at. And that I have seen over the years is very, very challenging because most of us did not learn how to do that. We learned to bypass it and mentalize it and do, you know, maybe behavioral therapy so we started behaving in a different way but most of the time not all it, it behavioral therapy is very good too but does not necessarily help us to soften this protective layer we just learn to maybe function over here so we don't need to deal with this but if we want a true expression of the divine 
that we are, we need to open up from the <laughs> from the outside in because we need to remove those layers and we do that with love. As a self-love mentor, of course, this is my secret sauce. And that's why I feel so strongly about it and passionate about it. And it's something that I really would love for everybody to learn. You can certainly go to my website and learn more about it. And you can also sign up for a discovery session with me on my website. And the link is underneath in the comments. If you want to take this to a next level, or if you want to explore it together. If you don't, that's totally fine. I'm just saying that that kind of support is available. If you really want to let this longing that you want it's the longing um longing to feel supported longing to feel safe longing to feel loved longing to be love be love itself peace joy there's we all have these deep longings for something beautiful and it's because it is there for us. It's not like it's put there as a longing and, you know, you're not going to get it. So, you know, it's just sitting there as some kind of a tease. Like, no, no, no. It is there because it wants you, it wants us to experience that beauty. Because that is already who we are. If we would only stop protecting ourselves from the fear of not having or getting it or the fear of repeating when it didn't happen in the past. We all have those experiences. The times we went through that was because we were still very much living in this mindset of limitation and not deserving and I can't have it. And that's why we kept um, the portal or the doorway closed for this that we long for to come out. So learning to undo this protection that we have, and it's an ongoing process. You know, I can still find protective layers in me and then I meet them because I don't want to live behind protection anymore. That doesn't mean that I become unwise and just trust blindly. It just is learning to what resonates, what feels true, learning to feel what a yes feels like and what a no feels like so that we can walk out into the world and feel safe and, and experience what we really want. So if this resonates with you, you're of course always welcome to join on the monthly online gatherings. The next one will be the first Tuesday of October. I will also put the link in the box below. Um, but just this, this learning to, to soften and dissolve the barriers against what we really want. It is so essential and it is, it is such beautiful work when we really take it seriously and go there with an open heart and a willingness and a longing, of course, to be open all the time or most of the time, whatever it's going to look like. So yeah, um, it's, it's a beautiful process for all of us. And, and I, of course, I want to invite you to come along if uh, you feel the need for that. Thank you so much.